Hello everyone. We want to be working with the cosine rule. In terms for us to use the cosine rule, first thing that you have to keep in mind is that it can be used only for a non right angle triangle. Right? So the triangle will no longer be a right angle triangle, but it could be of any length. Right. So cosine rule, non right angle triangle. Um, two, let's take a look at the formula. The formula is going to be um, a squared equals to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of angle a. Right? So that's the formula a squared equals to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of angle a um, that's for solving for a side and then we have the other one which is going to be for solving for an angle uh, let's quickly take a look at the triangle if we have a triangle let's say we have this triangle that is going to be and then here I'm going to put A, A, B, C. Capital A, capital B, capital C. And then we want to label the sides. We have small A, small C, and then small B. Right? Notice that capital represents angle, angle A, angle C. Small letter represents the side and it is always opposite to the angle so if you have angle a here opposite to it is going to be side a if you have angle c down here then opposite to it is going to be side c if you have angle d b here sorry you have side b all right so if you have a triangle only giving you the the angles right something like that and then none of them and then it says solve for angle a then it is talking about this angle here if it tells you solve for side b then don't go go and see that this is b or this is b this is angle b once you take a look at the triangle then opposite to it is going to be what you're solving you will be solving for this length here right if they tell you solve for side A, then this one will be representing side A. If they tell you solve for side C, then you have this one being side C. Right? Or the problem could tell you solve what is the length AB. Length AB would be from this capital, capital letter A to this capital letter B. Length AB, which is small c solve bc which is this one here which is going to be side a or it can or it could tell you solve for ac which is a to c which is side b right so once you f you you know that then we we want to continue from this point again the formula itself is going to be, I rewrite it again, a squared equals to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of angle a. Notice that a represents the side that I am solving. Right? a represents the side that I am solving. On the other hand, notice that what I must have, what I must have is going to be side B and side C. This two must be given B and C, B and C. And then another thing that I must be given is ang angle A, right? So B and C must be given which is this side and this side 
and then B and C here again but we already pointed out that we are going to be solving for that and then A which is capital A in this case representing the angle right so that means that I must also be given this side right so this is what we have so two so if I'm solving for side A other two sides right the other two sides and angle between them must be given okay so this is what we have formula here we're solving for um, side a what we can we notice is that we need side b which is the other side and the other one which is b and c right and then if you notice the angle must be given for A, which is the one between the two sides given. That is what we have. Let's take a look at the problem. If we have a problem, let's say that we have triangle P, Q, R. We're solving for angle side P. Let's put it as X there, right? So you will from the question itself you will have the question and then it will say solve for angle not angle side p solve for side p if i am solving for side p then i know that this is going to be my small p and then if i know that and if i want to use the cosine rule i must be given a length for this one a length for this one and the angle for this one so let me see let's say this angle is 61 degrees let's say this length is going to be 32 inches and then let's say this one is going to be 15 inches okay so that is what we have we have the angle c given which is the one corresponding to the side i'm solving and the other two sides are given Right, so that is what we want now remember the formula is going to be a squared equals to b squared plus c squared i want you i uh, want you guys to notice that we could rewrite the formula with respect to the triangle that we have it is no longer triangle a b c right it is triangle pqr so how do i start